Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to look at the Midnight Mule Mini League, see who's doing well in that, the Content Creators League and then what my plans are for Game Week 7. Top scorer in the Midnight Mule Mini League was Chives Kumar, hope I got that about right, Liverpool FC 2024 with a massive 110 points, very good. And here's their team, Captain Salah got 20, Trippier 18, Sun 14, Saka 13, Walker 11, Madison 9, Onana 7, Estupanan 6, Watkins 9. And they've got a huge differential, which is no Haaland. So <laughs> respect, I think that's very good. Maybe we should all be dumping Haaland. Who needs him anyway? He's not been doing very well. And on the bench, nothing. So very, very well picked team there. Top of the league is JG with a little green tick. There they go. With 66 points, and their team was Saka got 13, Botman 12, Captain Harlan 12, Salah 10, Edison 6, Cash 6. Diaby got 3, and that was it. And then nothing on the bench, but well done for not playing Gusto. As for me, I'm up to 147th with 76 points. I had Trippier 18, Matoma 14, Harlan 12, Ferdinand 10, Salah 10. Stupid and six, and that was it. And then nothing on my bench. So 76 points. Game week rank was, well, two and three quarters million, I guess that is. So a little green arrow for me. So that's nice, but it's very early days. So I'm two points outside of the two million rank, but that's fine. We've got so far to go. Often this time of year, I'm like four million or so. So it's all right. There's really not that much in it. 854 subscribers to this channel thank you very much to all of you that watch this and then also subscribe and like leave comments very much appreciated thank you fpl game week website they have a content creators league you can look at so you might recognize some of the names on here and top of the content creators is paddy kiel from odds on fpl and uh i've watched some of his stuff i am subscribed and he's got just over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I'm sure if some of you want to go over there and check him out, you might find him quite interesting. And let's face it, he's currently the top content creator anyway. He's on 409 points. And I'd just like to say the top 11 in the Midnight Mule Mini League have 409 or more. So maybe they should all be content creators. FPL Fran is in second place, nine points behind. And Gianni Boti's got 112 Look at that, his face is behind mine. That's really cool. Um, and he's up to third, so he's doing very well. As for me, I'm down in 49th with 359 points, which is the same as Raptor, who I think might have just passed the 100k followers, and the mighty Ben Krellin. We've all got the same score. So my transfers. Option one, and this is what I've already done. Chilwell out for Botman, and then Jackson out for Morris. But then option number two, which I'm seriously considering, but I'm unsure, and that's playing my wild card. I was very, very close to playing this at the weekend, at the end of Sunday, because I knew prices were going to change and that would be the time to play it. And I've still not committed to not playing it. So we'll look at my team as it stands and then I'll say a bit about what my wild card will be because I may still play it this week. If I don't play it this week, I'll almost certainly be playing it next week. So this is my team as it stands for this game week. I'm going to have Haaland wearing the old mule hat, probably, with the vice on Morris. But I may well switch those over a few times between now and the deadline. I don't know who I'm going to end up captaining out of those two. Really, really tough call. Haaland's definitely the safer bet. Morris is the fun pick. And of course you have two attempts. I mean, you imagine if I put it on Haaland... And then he only gets two points. It'd be a lot more exciting to put it on Morris. But then what if Harlan gets a hat-trick? It's, it's a really tough call. Anyway, I've got Pickford in goal against Luton. Chance of a clean sheet there. And then Trippier and the potentially injured Botman at home to Burnley. And then Fernandez at home to Palace. So all of those on the screen now have a chance of decent points. And I've got Embuemo and Vista away to Forest. Forest defensively can be good at home and Brentford have been rather awful recently. However, after they did so bad last weekend, maybe they're going to be better this week. Who knows? Let's hope so. At least, you know, unless you're a Forest fan. And then a stupid anime Toma away to Villa. 
Brighton haven't kept any clean sheets yet, but they've always scored. So that could be interesting. And then Salah away to Tottenham. And then my bench, which is possibly a bit controversial, Turner at home to Brentford could get a clean sheet. But then Anderson, he didn't play at the weekend. I don't know why, but he's potentially got a double. Nakamba's got a double and Bayer's got a double. But assuming those are all fit, I would rather have the single week players that I am playing than these double game week players. Because I expect Bayer, if he does well, will get three points in total. Nikamba may get five if he's lucky. I don't know what's happening with Anderson. So even though I've got three double week game players on the bench, I'm probably not going to play them. As for my wild card, if I play it this week, I think Pickford's out. And Bremo's out. Visser's out because I've had enough of them. And I really want to get rid of Haaland. And I don't know if that's why that is. Probably just because... <laughs> Because I like some fun. So I reckon I'd get rid of him for a few weeks and I'd bring him back after the Man City not-so-nice run. Now, I know that's going to cost me a lot of points and there's be at least two weeks, maybe three, when I haven't got him, when he'd probably get lots of points. However, the money he would free up means I could get a very nice squad. So, for example, if I lost Harland and Vissa, I'd almost certainly get Watkins. I may get Darwin. I might keep Morris or else I might swap him for... Awiani, let's say. And then on my bench, I would probably get rid of turn. I'm not sure yet, but the other three would be out. So I would probably get Matty Cash. In midfield, there's so many options. I would probably get Sun. So without Haaland, I can build, I think, a pretty good squad. But it would really hurt me the weeks I don't have Haaland. Another advantage to not, not having Haaland is I get the fun of trying to choose a captain each week. Whereas if you have Haaland, you pretty much captain Haaland. And in case you're wondering about the picture, I was wondering what to do. Top score this week was Liverpool FC 2024. So this is supposed to be the liver bird, which is the symbol for Liverpool FC. And I don't know if you know, but the bird's always got a piece of seaweed in its mouth. But I, I couldn't get the seaweed right. So here it is. It's based on a cormorant cool apparently, but that's in, um, in honour of our top scorer this week. So there we have it. That's my plan What's the chance of you wildcarding? Maybe 25% this week. And then if I don't, then almost certainly going to wildcard next week. So maybe watch my video next week to see what crazy moves I've done. And if I'm brave enough to offload Harlan. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good game week seven. Bye. <laughs>